If conviction comes from God and he begins to draw you by the power of the Holy Ghost, that is a door opened into heaven. That's like the ladder that Jacob saw when he saw angels ascending and descending. That is like the angel of the Lord appearing in your life and beginning to open you up, my friend, like a can of worms where God can read your title clear. It's God speaking to you and saying to you, I love you and I want to save you and I want to write your name in the Lamb's book of life. Conviction is not God condemning you. Conviction is God drawing you. You're already condemned. All you got to do is be honest with yourself and you'll say, Woe is me, for I am unclean. I am undone. I need help from God. No, the good Lord comes down and he draws you by his mercy and by his grace. And he draws you to the cross of Christ. And there you can find peace in your soul. And there the guilty condemned sinner can be forgiven and his name written in the Lamb's book of life. The almighty, absolute, eternal being that is from everlasting to everlasting is pure spirit. And everything that exists today that is not pure spirit has been brought into existence. And the creator is the Lord Jesus Christ. He made the tree that they nailed him on and crucified him on 2,000 years ago. Amen. So the Gospel of John is a powerful, powerful witness and statement to this generation, to this hour, to this time, to this preacher. No matter where you are, what culture, what age, what geographical location, makes no difference. He's the same yesterday, today, and forever. And he's the Savior of all men. He would have all to be saved and come to the knowledge of the truth. So I beg you in the name of Jesus. I exhort you in the name of Jesus. I pray I could get your attention this morning. If that move in your soul, if you feel that drawing unto God, don't turn away from that. Dear friend, that's God that is initiating what must be done in order for you to be saved. Somebody lied to you when they told you that you can choose the day and the hour and the time. That you just decide, well, I'm going to get right with God. No, you're not. You can pray till you turn blue in the face. If the Holy Ghost is not convicting you, and, and, and by conviction planting faith in your soul, you'll get nowhere with it. But if He is, in the name of Jesus, do something about it. Amen.